Today I want to talk to you about Busy Vizies, data visualizations that have too much going on. Here is an example of a busy Vizzy. You're using up valuable brain power trying to understand it rather than listening to me. Or you have no idea what I'm trying to say with it. And that's not an ideal outcome when presenting your ideas to people. So let's deconstruct this chart and see what we really need in order to make it shine. Firstly, the two key things you need to ask yourself are, one, what is the insight I'm trying to show with this chart? And two, does it do that effectively? Here, I'm trying to show the number of calories in caviar. So we've answered the first question, and now we'll fix the second. First off, let's remove the backgrounds, as they're not adding anything. Then let's get rid of the redundant labels, as they're not helpful. Clear out the borders, remove the special effects, reduce the colors to focus on the caviar, remove the axis and the lines to stop people going back and forth to work out the values. And whilst we're at it, why don't we put the values directly onto the bars? And there we go. Compare this chart to the old one, and it's infinitely better. You've reduced the brain drain, your audience will focus on what you have to say, and most importantly, they'll see the insight you want them to see. So let's say no to busy visies, as it can be dangerous yeah. to the analysis and insights you've worked hard to produce. Share your viz before and after pics on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag BusyVizies. And if you like the video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you want to see more, check out these videos, where I highlight how report automation can stop you being a data monkey and become an analyst instead. Or how I try and make sense of the QITV show's scoring system.